Um, I want to uh, introduce the next person, Omar Navarro. He's a young millennial who ran against one of the oldest people in Congress, Maxine Waters. I don't know about you guys, she may be a, a piece of uh, taxidermy existing right there in Congress. But um, Omar, I'm going to have you come on up. How's everybody doing? You know, when I was uh, involved in politics when I was 19 years of age, I'm 30 now, time goes by pretty fast. And when I see things changing in our country, I used to see a lot of young people not involved in politics, not caring about what's going on. And now, I saw a guy by the name of President Donald J. Trump that stepped in two years ago and decided that he was going to be the man in this country. I'm happy that we have a president that takes action, that gets the job done. He doesn't back away from a challenge. He doesn't back away from anybody. People like Nancy Pelosi. Criminal. People like Maxine Waters. People like Elizabeth Warren are destroying our country right. every single day. That's right. We need people that are going to fight for the American people. We need people that are going to represent us. That's why I'm here today. I'm not a politician that's just going to give you the talk. I'm the politician that's going to give you the action and the walk. That's what we need to do. We need to walk the walk and we need to show up. I'm here in the middle of the rain in a suit. Doesn't matter. I'm right here because I care and I care about the American people. I care about the angel families that have lost their children. I care about them. And I've shown up. I've gone to Arizona with Sheriff Cho in the border. And we've stood up against illegal immigration. Illegal immigration is a disease that's in our country. We have to make sure that we are fighting and we are protecting our border. My family came from Mexico and Cuba legally. They went through with their head held up, not down. They taught me that you do things right in this country. If you do things right, the American dream will come. So I want to let everybody know that when the left screams racism to the right, you know why they do that? Because they are racist themselves. That's right. Look, look, look what's going on, going on right now. You have former Klan members that are coming out of the left. I mean, their lies are exposing themselves. That's right. And also, the other lies that are coming out. Look, look at this. In the past six years, and the LA Times is a liberal magazine, right? What do you guys think about the LA Times? Yay or nay? Boo. LA Times wrote a story that they said in the past six years, there was over 60,000 more homeless people in Los Angeles County alone. 60,000 more homeless. In the past six years in LA County, people like Eric Garcetti have allocated funding, billions of dollars, towards helping out the homeless. And guess what happens? Nothing happens, nothing changes. They have more homeless in the street. They have more veterans in the street. They have a lot of problems with mental health. They're not even being addressed. These people don't care. All they care about is creating more government jobs. More government. I want less government. We need to take the power away from the politicians and our government, and we need to give it back to the people. That's right. So I'm asking you guys, are you guys ready to build that wall? Yes! I am ready. And I'm tired. I've seen families being destroyed. Yeah. President Donald J. Trump, we gotta build that damn wall. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys can find me at omarnavarro.com. Thanks, Omar. Thank you. Thank you, Omar. Thank you so much.